hi, Kelsey. Good job getting your gatefold um, sketches in. I, uh, Jack White's fine. I think that actually looks like Jack White, doesn't it? That's awesome. Um, so, um, all right. So you got your gatefold here. Now, this basically, technically, I think would be considered a double gate because this is a fold and, and this is indicating a fold. I'm not sure if that's a fold or not. A regular gatefold looks like this. So there's no fold in the middle. A double gate, well, there's a gate right there. A double gate would have a fold right there. So you'd have fold, 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 fold. So you'd have one, two, three folds instead of two. That would, that's how you're in. I mean, I think if that's a fold, okay? I like to design my gate folds as a full gate. This looks like it's a full gate here. So that would close on top of that. That would close on top of that. I think that's really an interesting way to go, okay? So now, again, it looks here like that's going to be a single panel. So I, that, I'm guessing you're intending on folding there. I would like you to design this as a regular gate fold. I think if we were fold, if we were going to fold this, I would just say, let's just go ahead and design a trifold. If you want to fold your gate and make a double gate, that's fine. I'm not saying you can't. Um, based on your, you, you've done a good job showing your intent here with your type. You know, there's an indent. There's the end of the paragraph. So we're definitely, I, I, the one thing I can't tell is, is if, if these are rags or if that's justified. There's no way to tell because they're, they're not the same length. That's where a straight edge comes in, I think. Um, so there's no intent there. It looks like here you have, um, a, uh, a a serif typeface, likewise, likewise, image, image. So the intent is pretty good. Um, I I just want to make a general comment. Okay, moving forward and deciding how you want to work with this this particular project, I suggest not designing pamphlets in in panels because basically what you're doing is you're taking each one of these folds and treating it as if it's its own little composition, and then you've actually you've actually parlayed that thought by actually get now you're really separating it into not only columns but rows so i think it's a better and then here you've got each one different composition i think there's too many images here remember this is just typography so we're trying to communicate with type more so a little less than image so try not to be so heavy on the images but um and this is good typographic intent here this clearly shows an indent and a and but I, again i think this is justified i'm going to guess it is because it, it, it looks pretty darn close so again, my main comment is just to try to design your 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 gatefold as this is, you know, as it's going to sit, as the viewer is going to react to it um, as they see this as a full page instead of seeing this as one composition and then these as three separate or, or this as one and this is one, okay? And then also don't forget when you fold these over, you can design the back of these to, to for a design that will meet in the middle once you do fold it. Okay, um, here's some ideas. Here, here, here. So see how those the, the word the, the words will meet in the middle and and um, so you're utilizing that fold. See what I'm saying? Okay, that's all I have. I just wanted to make sure that you're on track here. I think you're doing great, and I can't wait to see where you're going to go from here. Your choice. Thanks very much.